good day, beloveds. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. God has laid a word in my spirit, but let us begin with a word of prayer. Father, I cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Minister to the hearts of your people, Lord. Let them not hear me, but let them hear you through me. Let this be a word of confirmation, a word that will unlock and release somebody into the next season of their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now the prophetic word that the Holy Spirit has laid in my spirit for me to release today is favor is causing you to stand out. Favor is causing you to stand out. And favor will locate you where you are. Now our prophetic theme for 2023 is the year of the Lord's favor. Our year of congratulations and promotions. And the Holy Spirit laid this word, this prophetic word of favor so so snugly in my spirit so strongly in my spirit it just landed well in my spirit because it tied in well with the theme of the year favor shall locate you right where you are and the lord's favor is about to cause you to stand out let us go straight into the word first samuel 16 i am reading the message translation god addressed samuel so how long are you going to mope over Saul? You know I've rejected him as king over Israel. Fill your flask with anointing oil and get going. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I've spotted the very king I want among his sons. Verse 4. Samuel did what God told him. When he arrived in Bethlehem, the town fathers greeted him, but apprehensively. Is there something wrong? Verse 5. Nothing is wrong. I've come to sacrifice the heifer and lead you in the worship of the Lord. Prepare yourselves to be consecrated and join in worship. He made sure Jesse and his sons were also consecrated and called to worship. Verse 6, when he arrived, Samuel took one look at Elab and thought, here he is, God's anointed. Verse 7, but God told Samuel, looks aren't everything. Don't be impressed with his looks and stature. I've already eliminated him. God judges, God judges people differently to humans do. Men and women look at the face. God looks into the heart. Verse 10. Jesse presented his seven sons to Samuel. Samuel was blunt with Jesse. God hasn't chosen any of these. Verse 11. Then he asked Jesse, is this it? Are there no more sons? Well, there is the youngest, but he's tending to the sheep. Samuel ordered Jesse, go get him. We're not moving from the spot until he's here. Verse 12, Jesse sent for him. He was brought in. The very picture of health. Bright eyed. Good looking. God said, get up on your feet and anoint him. This is the one. Verse 13, Samuel took his flask of oil and anointed him with his brothers standing around watching. The spirit of God entered David like a rush of wind. God vitally empowering him for the rest of his life. Mm, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 1 says, God sent ah, Samuel to Bethlehem. He said, go to the house of Jesse. I have spotted the one that I want among his sons. Ooh, thank you, Holy Spirit. No one was talking about David. David was despised. 
he was not even among the panel. He was not even among the, the, the finalists, the people that they were choosing, the sons that he was bringing forth. He didn't make the cut. Mm. Uh, but God caused him to be discovered by the prophet Samuel so he could be anointed. Nobody was discussing him. Nobody was talking about him. He was discarded. But God caused him to be discovered by the prophet Samuel. Mm, Even if you are not being discussed. Even if you are not being discussed. God will cause you to be discovered. Woo! I am going to say that again. Even if you are not being discussed. God will cause you to be discovered. Mm. Get ready, get ready, get ready. God's favor is locating you where you are. Verse 7 says, None of these have I chosen. None of these have I has the Lord chosen. Favor qualifies. P those that people have disqualified. The favor of God is about to qualify you. They may not be discussing you. They may have discarded you. They may have discarded ah, what you do in your industry, in your space, looking down on you. Ah, but God is about to cause you to be discovered by the right people. The people that are going to favor you. Ah, God's favor will cause you. To qualify for an elevation. Ah, ah, that you are not qualified for, but the grace of God is qualifying you. I prophesy divine elevation. I prophesy the favor of God is causing divine elevation. I prophesy the favor of God is causing divine breakthrough. I prophesy the favor of God is causing divine partnerships. Rapa table city. I prophesy the favor of God is causing you to be discovered like Boaz discovered. Ruth, ah, Tarabo said, stay in the field, said the Lord. Stay where you are, stay doing what you're doing. Because though nobody looks at you, though it looks like nobody sees you, Jesus sees you, Jesus sees you, and He is going to cause the right people to see you. The right partnership is coming, the right people are gonna partner with you. Elevation that goes beyond your reserve is coming to you. The right partner is coming to you. Some of you for kingdom marriages, God is going to cause that Boaz, the right person to see you. There is divine kingdom marriages that are coming forth. Some that have already met, uh, God is going to cause the favor of God is entering into uh, your partner. And there's going to be, they're going to be divine proposals, divine weddings. This is a supernatural season. And the favor of God is going to cause you to stand out. And the favor of God is going to locate you right where you are. This favor has been predestined. God caused you to be favored even before the foundations of the earth. God had already prepared you for a time such as this. Ah, la bochete, Esther 414. You were Mm, set as part, set aside for a time such as this. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. No one can occupy that position of favor but you. No one can occupy that seat of favor, that breakthrough, that partnership but you. You are the one that will sign that deal. You are the one that will occupy that spot. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 13 said, the Spirit of God empowered him. The Spirit of God entered David like a rush of wind and vitally empowered him for the rest of his life. I prophesy the Spirit of God shall empower you for the rest of your life. This 
favor is for life. This favor is for life. And it is effective immediate now in the mighty name of Jesus. Rababo Shete. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As you have instructed me, I have released this word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the supernatural favor that shall be made manifest in the lives of your people. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you do not release a word and not have it yield fruit. Thank you for manifestation. Thank you for testimonies that are going to be coming from this word. In Jesus' name, I declare it. I decree it. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. God bless you, beloveds. I pray that this word has ministered to your spirit and has touched you. Thank you for those of you who are partnering with this ministry. Thank you for those of you who are sending in the emails, who are sending in your testimonies. God bless you. God bless you. It's amazing to see how this ministry is impacting people globally. I give God all the glory. I give God all the honor for prayer requests, testimonies, or one-on-ones. My information is in the description box. My email is in the description box. If you are led to sow into this word, my information again is in the description box. God richly bless you. I love you all so much. God bless you, beloved. Shalom.